My name's uh, Carl Toomey. I'm a Muradiwari woman. I met Bill back in 1975. We got together in 1978, been together ever since. When, when he had the stroke, he had a touch of the flu. It seemed like he had a touch of the flu um, on the Sunday after football. I went down to Sydney to do a mentoring program, to attend a mentoring program with work. And I didn't make it to the work to the training the next morning. When they came looking for me, they rang the motel to see if I did turn up. And when the manager came in, I was laying on the floor and they called the ambulance and took me to the hospital and I was, when they operated, they found, a, I was unconscious and they uh, found a big clot in the back of the brain, right hand side of the brain. They removed the full cranium and sent me back from Sydney back to, when I discharged from Sydney hospital, I went back to Tamworth Rehab Centre and that was good. Rachel was excellent up there. The things he couldn't do after after the stroke, walk. he couldn't walk. He um, still had a bit of a slur in his voice. Uh, he couldn't... Just the um, fluid fixed that. He couldn't um, swallow properly. Um, he couldn't move his left arm. He, he couldn't sit up straight uh, um, without being propped up. Doing the exercises in the rehab, he'd go so far and then he'd spot a chair and sit on it. So <laughs> he got a nickname. <laughs> well, fish jump up. <laughs> Which was called every bum. Every time he walked, he was at the meter to sit down. I uh, left the rehab in Tamworth. When I was discharged from there, I wanted to do a bit more to keep get me more motivated in getting around. So the next best option was to join a gym. And I did, and I started going to the pool, but I found the pool was too cold for us, especially the local one. So we used to go to Moree for a swim in the hot pool up there. And that was really good. Yeah, set yourself a goal and just carry on with it. Follow it, keep pushing for it. I, my goal was to get back to refereeing. So that's why I wanted to get up and keep moving. It, it encourages um, you to keep on going. The other thing is that if you've got a strong family behind you, that's also giving you that strength and, and support. And a stubborn wife. One who got no pity. Don't put up with it. You've got to get up, walk, lift your legs, bend your knee. Walk to the fridge, get your own beer. Now he's been able to walk a lot better than what he was, and that's from going to the gym. He's got more independence now than what he did have coming um, out of the rehab. And mostly because when he got out of the rehab, he didn't have the same people helping him rather than growling at him. <laughs> and that's what I did. <laughs> Done a lot of growling and he gave do. him the strength to keep going. And she still does. And I'm still doing it. And he's still doing what he should be doing is building himself up more. We have our little fun arguing about things in terms of what he can and can't do. And he turns around and says, I can do that. And now he's got a scooter. He can do anything he likes. He goes downtown by himself, um, especially heads to the pub so he can get his little bottles and bring home. And, uh, but... It, but yeah, getting the scooter has, has been a good thing for him because otherwise he'd be just sitting back, at home. It gave me back a lot of independence. If the support's not at home, then jump on the wagon and go and get the people who or, uh, say you want help and you'll get people from community health to help you, the home care that can come in and help you out. Your life is worth living. Regardless of having a stroke, you need to get help. And if you can't get it from home, all those agencies are there and there are also other groups of people around who've had the same, or well, been through the same situation as you in some form. Never smoked in my life. I like a beer. No, I still enjoy a beer. 
but it's only a light gear now. Yes, it is tough love. That's Blackfellas love. No. <laughs> That's what you call support, major support. To other see people. other people who's been similar to you or as, uh, uh, as a disability of some kind that you can relate to encourages you to work more on yourself instead of feeling sorry for yourself. And if you've got a growly woman like me... Of course you've got to move. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs>